Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. In this session, we are continuing developing next operations in custom collection development. In last session, we learn how to add uh, functionality for collection to solve array size problem. So, for that we have defined two methods. First one is add of object method and increase capacity method. Add of object method will start adding objects to collection object background array. The moment size reached to its capacity, it will internally call increase capacity method for increasing capacity. So, this is the point we discussed in last session. In this session, we wanted to continue adding next operation called counting objects. How many objects available in the custom collection or how many objects available in the collection we wanted to know for that I would like to define next operation related logic that is counting objects. Fine, before, before discussing about this counting objects, I would like to understand one important point here. So, first you should learn what is the difference between capacity and size or what is the difference between size and capacity of the collection you must learn first. Then we will develop the logic for how to find the size and capacity. Right. Let me try to discuss about what is size and what is capacity. Right. Let me take one live example to understand difference between size and capacity. Okay. Please look at this bottle. What is the capacity of this bottle and what is the size of this bottle if you understand then capacity of collection, capacity of size you will easily identify. The total level of water can be filled in this bottle is called capacity. How much level water is available in this bottle is size. This bottle capacity is 1 liter water. It can hold 1 liter of water that is called capacity. Currently, how much level of water is available this much? Okay, then this is what size nothing but half liter water exist in this bottle then the size of this bottle is a half liter and the capacity of this bottle is 1 liter. I hope you got an idea same point applicable here please try to observe here. Now we have collection object in this collection object background we have array object this array object is nothing but bottle. Okay. Now, this array object can be accommodate, this array object can hold totally 10 elements that is the capacity. How many objects can be stored inside this array? Total number of how many objects can be stored in this array is nothing but capacity. Second point, how many objects I have stored? Okay, how many objects I have stored at this point that is called size. So, simple definition once again repeat what is capacity and what is size. Total number of objects we can store inside a collection is called capacity. How many objects I have stored at this point okay, this is called what size. Can you please look at here what is the capacity of the array total number of elements do you remember in arrays chapter you might have learned array object background will contain one variable called length. This length variable will contain the information about total number of capacity okay? that is nothing but what uh, 10. This length variable internally contains the value called 10. Next in previous session I told in the NIT collection object we are maintaining the count how many objects we have stored by using element count. Here I stored 5 objects then every time when I call add method by storing this object now we, we are increasing the count variable element count 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, please try to think and tell me what is the capacity of collection what is the size of the collection. Capacity is number of objects can be stored in collection object. What is the size? Size means total number of how many objects we have stored at this point that is what size. Can you please look at and tell me what is the capacity and what is the size? Capacity is 10 because 10 total number of 10 objects it can store and size is 5 because it now we have stored only 5 objects. 
then now please try to observe the coding point of you. Now I have created a NIT collection object and I have stored 5 objects and down I would like to count how many objects available. So simply I will call system.out.println here I will call call dot. I want to know what is the capacity of this object. To know the capacity, I am expecting there should be one method capacity. I will call a method called capacity. I want to know size of the collection object. So, we call it as col dot size method I call that is it. When I call col dot capacity, I am expecting output should come is 10 and col dot size I am expecting output is what 5. So, why 10, why 5? Total size of total capacity of this array object is 10. That is why I am expecting output come what 10. So, total how many objects I have stored inside this collection 5. So, expected output is what 5. I hope you are catching my point. So, finally, what is the discussion I wanted to give you in this video? What is the difference between capacity and size? Capacity is total number of objects we can store in collection. Size is how many objects we have stored in collection. Okay. Then as a programming point of view, I wanted to know uh, how many objects can be stored, nothing but what is the capacity. For that, I have to call capacity method and I want to know how many objects is stored inside a collection. For that, I have to call size method. Fine. Now, if I compile this program, you will get compile time error because capacity and size methods are not defined in NIT collection class. It is your responsibility to define capacity and size methods. So, in this session, I would like to only share the information about what is the difference between size and capacity and how can I get capacity and size. Okay? I hope you got clarity. Now, in the next session, we will discuss how to add the logic for this capacity method, how to write the logic for the size method to find the capacity and size of the collection. Okay? So, please try to revise once again and try to understand and in the next session we will discuss implementing the logic for capacity and size method that is the next operation of custom collection. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Narayashati channel for more videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.